Hello everybody, it is Tatum here. Welcome or welcome back to Tatum's Train of Thought, episode 3, part 4. This is the final part of our New Year, New Purpose Bible plan. I really hope you're enjoying this so far. I know I am. Let's get into today's verse. Ephesians 5, 15 and 16. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Let's read the devotional. Having a year filled with vision, purpose, and goals will make for a year filled with meaning and a sense of fulfillment. We must commit to living in these things every day. Many people will have a vision and even set good goals, but will never follow through. Their enthusiasm for a life of purpose will last a couple of weeks, but soon fade away. Research has shown that people keep the New Year's resolution for only 30 days and then give up. Paul's words to believers in Ephesus are so critical to a purposeful life. We must give attention to how we live day by day. We must determine to make the most of our time. How can we live every day, not randomly, but on purpose? Four simple, practical tools can help us to do this. Individually, they will be helpful, but success is likely to increase dramatically as all four tools are practiced together. To live on purpose, we focus on these four things every day. Remember your vision. Vision brings purpose provides direction, and fuels passion. When we have a vision for what God wants for our lives in the new year, reminding ourselves daily of that vision will help us live that day with greater intentionality and with our vision before us. Review your goals. Goals help us monitor our progress, so if we review our goals daily, we can make sure that we are moving toward our vision and not wasting our days. Make a list. Take time to determine the focus of the day. Decide what is most important to accomplish that particular day. Some days, it may simply be a phone call that needs to be made to achieve the next goal that moves you closer to your vision. Sometimes, it may even be to rest or relax and to be refreshed in your body, soul, and spirit. Every day has value, and we should not waste them. Most importantly, begin each day with prayer. Make sure you take a few minutes to pray over your vision your goals, your list, and your day. Remember how Jesus said to abide in him because we can do nothing apart from him. We actually can't live this kind of purposeful life except by the Spirit of God. We should, of course, pray throughout each day, but we can't do that if we do not start the day with some time in prayer. If you want to live a life of vision and purpose, God will help you do it. The starting point is prayer. Let's read the verse one more time. Ephesians 5, 15 and 16. Be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. One thing I really liked about this devotional is that it said, if we want to live our days with purpose and with vision and to complete our goals and to live each day, Like, it's the most important day. We need to start our day with prayer. We need to start our day in God's word. We need to start the day looking up to him and asking what he wants us to do, how his will will guide us throughout our day. That's something that is so important that I definitely need to do more. I need to start my day with prayer. Is that something that you can do more too? Because you can never pray too much, you know? If you enjoyed this reading plan, we invite you to connect with Deaf Millennial Project and discover digital resources in American Sign Language. For more information, visit www.deafmillennial.com. All right, everyone, that concludes the New Year New Purpose on the YouVersion Bible app. I really, really hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below. Let's pray this one out. 
Lord, thank you so much for aligning our days in your will, in giving us the tools we need to succeed through you, Lord. I hope that the people listening to this spend a little bit more time in your word today, and I hope we all pray a little bit more and spend each morning in prayer with you, Lord. Thank you so much for being such a beautiful and merciful, purposeful, intentional God. Thank you so much for giving us these tools and resources to learn more about you and to learn to love you so much more each day, Lord. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for listening. This is the final part of the New Year New Purpose Bible Plan. I really hope you enjoyed listening to this. If you like these type of episodes, let me know down below. If you have any sort of New Year's resolutions, goals, visions, go ahead and comment them down below. If you have any other Bible plans that you would like me to read, or if you have any other episode ideas, please let me know down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next one. Music